Seattle Children's chose Extra Hop uh, uh, primarily because uh, we, we had the opportunity to install it in a proof of concept and immediately after the installation, I'm saying within 24 hours, we found some problems within our file services environment that allowed us to correct uh, before it became a much larger issue. So we saw, we saw the value right away and fixed some things that quite frankly we weren't aware of. Uh, now we have the ability to, to watch for those kind of things and, and find them before they become a problem and uh, it just became uh, 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 the, the tool essentially sold itself. The cool thing about Extra Hop is it, is it really kind of obviates to some degree the necessity for all those tools because you can take the one tool by looking at the data on the wire and now it is a horizontal application layer. Uh, that's the cool thing about Extra Hop. We use Extra Hop to uh, show us uh, uh, really an end-to-end an -end, uh, communication scenario. So for Cerner, for instance, uh, we would look end-to-end uh, -end, uh, from uh, all of the storage and file services and Citrix environment that we house in our data center and how that communicates out to the actual VDI that uh, is delivered out in the, the, the main hospital campus. Uh, and so we can watch the communications uh, amongst all those different devices and we can look for performance trends and, and uh, quite frankly problems generally before they, they turn into a, a big problem in the environment. As a CIO of an organization, you're, you know, from one year to another year, you don't, you don't know if you're gonna be uh, OPEX constrained, CAPEX constrained. Uh, that that ability to either purchase uh, extra hop a, as a capital appliance or, or as a subscription service uh, as you expand your 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 footprint uh, is really a, a good uh, arrow for the CIO to have in their quiver when they're fighting the budget battle